the Humbug V3 is here to replace the V2 that got patched on PC late last year. Now with an easy to build core bunker, but even stronger than its predecessors, with three optional hidden bunkers. Starting off the tool, you'll see that from the outside, the base retains the same classic design, but is very different on the inside. Enter the base through the single door airlock, which will prevent anyone from going deep. And next to the entrance, we have great visibility of the outside. Beyond that, enter the second floor through the armored door. And right in front of it, we have a ladder hatch leading down to an aura refinery. Much more convenient than in the V2, which was outside the base. There's also a vending machine for selling stuff and a single turret. On the second floor, there's plenty of room for deployables, including a battery hidden behind this garage door. There's also a full box loot room, locker, mixing table, and two beds. This roof here is the bunker into the core, which is the best option we have on PC right now. In the core, we have space for over eight boxes, TC, workbench, furnaces, and two bags. To open the bunker, destroy this wood foundation. To reseal, replace the foundation, upgrade to wood, and then build the roof, upgrading it to armored. While you're online, you can use stairs to get up to the next floor. Don't worry that the TC is no longer behind the vending machine, as it's still 30 rockets to get to it. And even if they do, the raiders will most likely miss out on these three pixel gap to loot rooms. On each side of the base, there are two boxes hidden inside the honeycomb. You can upgrade these floors to armored if you like, but the new container skin almost completely hides the gap. The build up for these is quite simple, but if you can't be bothered to build all three, then you can just honeycomb these sections instead, which I'll show in the tutorial. When also, these pixel gap bunkers don't work on console right now. But you guys can still build the V2. On the way up to the shooting floor, we have a retake back into the airlock. The shooting floor itself remains completely unchanged, as it's the Humbug's signature piece. I've had lots of requests for a Humbug with a proper shooting floor, but it's not really possible in this footprint. So if you want a proper shooting floor, I recommend checking out the Shogun. Outside the base, we also have a couple more features. These little outhouses can be used as bedrooms for a quick respawn, or you can even store horses in them so they don't get stolen. Before we get onto the build, here's a word from my sponsor. A brand new site has launched, rushmagic.com. They have six great games, including Case Battles, Upgrader, with two separate spinners, Roulette, Minesweeper, and a unique game called Flipper, where you can change the amount of coins to flip for different win sizes. You can deposit with skins, credit card, PayPal or crypto, and when you're done, they have a huge selection of skins to withdraw from. Or, if you don't want skins, you can also cash out for crypto instantly. They also have tons of rewards, including a free rain system, daily free cases, and a rakeback system. You can use my code CROW for 50 free coins to try out the site. But remember, you must be 18 or over. Thanks again, Rush Magic. Start off the build by placing down a square foundation, surrounding it with walls, and adding a door on one side. Seal in the top, and then pick your TC in this right hand corner and remember to lock it. When you're ready to expand, add a triangle to the front and then a square here. Surround this section with walls and add a door. In this tutorial, everything will be built out of stone and I'll only upgrade pieces that can't be done later. After building the ceiling, add another door here. Early game, you should be using one room for your loot and other for your furnaces, bags and workbench. To add a triangle shelf in either of the rooms, build a twig outside the base like so and place a triangle through the wall. If you put one in the second loot room, leave it twig as you need to remove it to place the workbench. When you've gathered some more resources, you can build the bunker. First, build a twig square here with a triangle on each side and a raised triangle in the front. Surround the raised triangle with half walls so it can't be soft sided. The lower triangle should be upgraded to metal as soon as possible. Then put a full wall on either side, another one up here, and then three double door frames. If you don't have much metal, you can use wood doors in these for now. To get in and out of the base, you can use L-shaped stairs, U-shaped stairs, or spiral stairs. It's up to you. But the foundation that holds up the bunker or the stairs must be upgraded to wood, otherwise it pokes out through the wall and can be shot. As I showed in the tour, you can seal the bunker like this, and to open it, just use a couple of machetes, which are a standard blueprint and are very cheap to craft. The bunker can also be sealed from outside the core, but if you do that, you have to F1 kill and respawn in the core to open it. Next, we're going to build the second floor. Build walls all around the TC square, then on the other square, build two walls here and a door here. I recommend using this as your main entrance right now, as the door path is longer and it will prevent anyone from going deep. On this square, put another door. And on this one, you'll want to build a half height shelf with ramps underneath and on top. 
you might have trouble placing these if you've got boxes on a shelf next to the TC and then seal it with the window frame. So far your starter will look like this. Just remember to upgrade those exposed foundations to metal. Now if you don't want to build all the pixel gaps or just build some of them, you can honeycomb the base like so. First we'll build the entrance with full walls at the bottom, a double door on the left and a half wall and a low wall on the right. Place a stone wall in the middle of the honeycomb to prevent splash. The triangle frame here will be the jump up to the shooting floor. Put a floor here as a jump up when you have garage doors, but for now just use a furnace. Next we'll honeycomb this side with just walls. Put a door here for your battery. And lastly we'll honeycomb this side in the same way that we just did. Next, add some honeycomb to the back of the two main loot rooms. To protect the bunker, first upgrade these foundations to metal and upgrade these two half walls as they can't be done later. Next, add a square on either side and then a triangle. Then build two full walls on each square. And then the roof pieces. Now we can build the shooting floor. First place half walls in between each double triangle. These should be upgraded to metal as soon as possible. Then half walls and a triangle in the middle and build low walls all around the edge. Next, attach triangle frames to each half wall and a square frame in the middle. And add triangle roofs to the triangle frames. But before you build these roofs, if you want solar panels on the roof, then you'll have to add these frames first. And these triangle floor pieces, as they can't be placed after the roofs. If you're worried about soft siding, upgrade them to metal. Then add these roof pieces and your ramps. If you're having trouble placing any of these, then you'll have to remove the deployables down below first. Next we're going to expand the entrance, but first we need to upgrade these parts to metal. Upgrade and rotate this wall too. Then build your honeycomb. Then build foundations here, leaving the centre ones twig for the oil refinery. Before placing the refinery, build a frame and a floor on top. Try to make the refinery as high as possible to make it easier to access. If you're having trouble placing it, try from different angles. Then put walls in front of it. You can upgrade these foundations to metal if you're worried about people soft siding them. Next build a door frame here, one on the other side for the vending machine, and then two windows. If you don't have a vending machine yet, just put a door in here for now. And put down your triangle ladder hatch and your windows. Add one more doorway here for the airlock. And one more on this side. You should definitely put an armoured door here when you can. To get into the base easier, we'll place this piece of roof honeycomb. But first, upgrade this wall and this foundation.
Next we'll add honeycomb to the pixel gap loop rooms. First upgrade these walls and this foundation to metal, then add the honeycomb. Don't forget to upgrade and rotate this wall. Then do the same on this side. Next add roof honeycomb all around the base, but remember to upgrade these pieces first. before adding honeycomb to the second floor. Remember to upgrade these pieces to HQM and also this wall as it can't be accessed from inside the base. When you've got enough resources, honeycomb the rest of it. But remember to upgrade the ceilings to metal first. On this section of the base, you don't have to build the hall storage or bedrooms. You can just leave it open or build these roof pieces to make it look nice. If you want to build the hall storage or bedroom, just add a door here, a window on the other side, and then two roofs on top. To add a ramp for the horse, first you need to upgrade this roof to metal. You can do the same thing again on this side. Now for some upgrades. Upgrade the entire core to armoured. The floors can be metal and the triangle can be left stone. For the second floor, upgrade everything to metal. Remember to add an armoured door here when you can. For the highest raid cost, the entire shooting floor needs to be metal too. Apart from the ramps, they can stay stone. And for the outside of the base, you need to upgrade these parts to metal too. When completed, the Humbug 3 should look like this. As always, cheers for watching, and if you like the base, leave a comment and a like.